Good evening everyone, it's uh, Ray here. As we all know, today Richard and I announced the new 24-hour webinar system. And I said while we were making that announcement that I would do a uh, video to show those of you who were using the Power Build system, and in particular Calendly as your booking system, uh, I would do a video to show you how to update Calendly to reflect the new changes. Um, so there are now um, some quirks that we've got to come across in Calendly um, and I'm going to explain what those quirks are. Um, the primary problem that we're going to have in changing the Calendly system is you can see that I'm logged into my account and I've clicked on the event types tab here in my Calendly system. The problem is that if I go into my live income workshop um, what I actually want to do is I want to change this event from a 60 minute event to a um, 45 minute event because the call only lasts 41 minutes now so we only need a 45 minute event okay because we want to run them on the hour um, if I go into this you can see I'm clicking on these events here but I can't I can't change anything okay this is the old schedule and we want to we want to be able to change it to a 45 minute event can't be done so what we have to do is we have to click this little gear icon here and we have to clone this event in other words we have to make a duplicate of this event okay and as you can see now you we have a, a clone of the of the uh, of the system okay the problem that we're going to have is we need to keep this link here the same as the previous one so at this particular point I'm going to leave this as clone as it was before and I'm just going to save it okay so we've got the clone here and I'm just going to go back and now we can see that we've got the clone here and we've got the the real one here okay and we want this one to be live call the same as this one we want whatever whatever address you've got here this one needs to be the same okay so what you need to do is you need to go into here now it may let me do this it may not uh, I'm gonna put here live call okay I'm gonna save it you see it doesn't doesn't like it so I'm gonna cancel that okay so what we have to do now now that we've got a clone go back into the event types we now have to delete this one okay so we're going to delete it we've got a clone so we're okay we're just going to delete the, the previous one now we're going to go in here and now we're going to call this one what the previous one was called it's imperative particularly for those who are using um, cfx.team extensions or, or URLs it's imperative you keep this the same okay this must be whatever the previous one was this must be identical so now I should be able to save that and as you can now see it's now called live call as the previous one so if yours is slash workshop the new one needs to be slash workshop so you have to clone it delete the old one and then rename this one okay so I'm now going to take the word clone off the end there oops sorry I'm going to edit that and take the word clone off there because we don't want that on there okay everything else is the same now it's called live call which is great now I'm going to save that and close it now when I go in here I can now change this because it's no longer the original one it's it's a clone okay so now what I'm going to do uh, as you can see I can change these what I want to do now is I want to delete this old schedule I want to basically zero it because I don't want this old schedule anymore this is the old schedule that we had so I'm just basically going to go in here um, I'm going to choose one that's got two dates on it I'm just going to click or I'm just going to get rid of everything what I want to do now is apply it to multiple and I just want to apply it to it every day except Saturday because Saturday is two o'clock so that clears out the weekdays and Sunday and all I go and do in here is I click on uh, the dustbin here and apply that to all the Saturdays so now as you can see if I click on the show more button down here 
I've got a completely clear calendar. Okay, it's exactly what I want. Now the first thing I want to do with my clear calendar is I now want to convert this to a 45 minute event. But I also want to do one more thing just to clarify that. I want to click on the advanced tab. There you can see 45 minute event. I want a maximum of 25 events a day and you'll see why in a minute. And then everything else is set to zero. Okay. So that's great. We're going to save and close that. We're going to go back into this. Now we've got a 45 minute event and we're going to go into here. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to set all the hours up. Okay. We want to start at midnight, but at the time that I'm recording this, it's past midnight on Wednesday. So I'm actually just going to start from the next day because it will it will backfill it, as you'll see. I'm going to click on Thursday, and I'm going to create a new interval. So my first interval, I'm going to start at midnight, and as you notice, to put midnight in, I just put four zeros, okay? And I press my tab key on my keyboard to go to the next field, and as you can see, Calendly works out that it's 12 a.m. 0, 0, 0 on a 24 hour clock is 12 a.m. Now what I want to do here is put 0, 0, 45 because I want a 45 minute um, uh, event because the webinar is only about 40 minutes now. So now I'm going to do a new interval and I'm simply going to go 0100 which is 1 o'clock in the morning tab 0145 okay. I'm going to do a new interval and I think you can see where this is going, 0200, 0245, new interval, 0300, 0345, new interval, 0400, 0445. And it's just a matter of putting a start time on the hour and an end time of 45 minutes later. This won't affect the webinar playing in any way, shape, or form. This is just setting up the time blocks that somebody can book onto the call. Okay, um, that's all it's doing. So, 0600, 0645, 0700, 0745, 0800, 0845, 0900. 0945, 1000, 1045, 1100, 1145. Now, when I get to 12, and I put 12 in, you can see when I press my tab key, it knows it is now PM. So I now do 1245 PM. And now I do, I revert to 24 hour clock, 1300. 1345 and as you can see it's putting PM in and converting it so 1400 1945 1900, 1945, 2200, 2045, 2100, 2245, and the final one is 2300 and because obviously after that one it's going to go back to the beginning 1200. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 events in the day, which is why we set that other thing up to be 25 events in the day. So that's the maximum we can have. It's okay. So now, once we've got all our times in correctly, just run through and check. Make sure you've got, so you've got 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And going through the afternoon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and it'll go back to 12. Just check your 45, so 12, 45, 1, 45, 2, 45, 3, 45, 4, 45, 5, 45, 6, 45, 7, 45, 8, 45, 9, 45, 10, 45, 11, 45, 12, 45, 1, 45, 2, 45, 3, 45, 4, 45, 5, 45, 6, 45, 7, 45, 
um, 8.45, 9.45, 10.45, 11.45. .45. And just double check your PMs against your AM. So everything up to 11 o'clock should be AM. Just scan through and check. Okay. And everything after 12, uh, 12 p.m. onwards should be PM. So just scan through uh, and check that everything's PM. So that all looks good. That'll, that's a good checklist. We're ready to go. Now what we need to do is we need to click this button down here that says or apply to multiple so if we click that now what we simply need to do is just tick every day of the week okay and this is where it will bring the Wednesday back up on the midnight that I skipped because I wanted to get up to the midnight so we're just going to click apply and as you can now see we've got events plugged in all day long 24 7 365 so the first thing I'm going to do is save and close my work once you've saved it, it's important that you turn it on, okay, because we want to check it. So we're going to turn this event on, okay, and now we're going to view the live page, okay. So now, as you can see, um, it's populating it for us. So now if I click on Wednesday, you can see that because on my time clock here, it is now 1.13 in the morning, the next available event is 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I go to Thursday, it will show me midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and so forth. So now, okay, it, it's all set. Okay, and if I go to the next month, you can see it's absolutely full and available for every day of the week, and everything's the same. And now it doesn't matter what time zone you're in, it's the same in every time zone. So you can slam the same time zone, same, same time slots in. So pre flight's good. Okay, and I just want to go back to this uh, and stress this thing here. This, after the slash, this must be the same as the one that you deleted. Particularly for those people who are using a bitly link or for those people who are using a .cfx .team link. If you don't make this the same, then when you give out that .bitly link or, or the .cfx .team link that you've been created for you, it won't work. Okay. That must be the same. So you've got to clone it, delete the old one, rename this one, and you're good to go. Okay? Can't stress that enough. If it doesn't work, this is the reason it's not going to work. When you type in, you know, whatever your, let's say yours is john.cfx.team. If that doesn't work, it's because you haven't done this. It's not the computer. It's not the system. It's not the software. It's you because you haven't done it correctly. Okay? Computers don't do anything we don't tell them to do. Okay? Everything's a picnic. Problem in chair, not in computer. 99% of computer problems can be traced to the interface between the chair and the computer. Okay, So just make sure, and can't stress it enough, that must be the same. Okay. Everything else is the same. Nothing changes. The interview questions are the same. All the emails, we cloned it. So everything's the same. Okay. That's now set that up, okay? So now when somebody goes to book on my link, which uh, my link is uh, live off profits guy. I use my own URL because uh, I like to have my own domains. So when somebody goes to my live link, boom, it's working because I made sure that this, uh, you know, this this part here, I made absolutely sure this was the same. So it's now just working with that. Okay, so that's how you set up your Calendly for the new 24-hour webinar that's available. By the time you're watching this, the web, the new webinar system, it's actually already live and it's out there and it's working. So um, we're now in a situation where we've got live webinars running every hour. And as Richard and I said in the call today, we'll make that system better and better and better and better as we go along. It's a phased rollout. It's not going to happen today, tomorrow, or next week. As we roll things out, we'll let you know. As the changes come into play in November from the company, we'll make more changes to the webinar to reflect those. And then later on, we'll start going to a new presentation, and then we'll go into multilingual. Don't pressure us about time, because we're not going to give you time scales. We're just going to get these things done as fast as we can. So I hope that's been useful to you as uh, people who use Calendly and the Power Build system. If you've got any uh, questions and you're in the Elite FX team, which is my team, you know where to go. You go into the support channel on Telegram. That's not available to people outside of my team. I'm sorry. 
um, if you've got a question um, go to your upline or go to Richard or, or reach out to me on on um, Facebook or something and I'll try and help you if I can um, but if it's going to go wrong it's going to go wrong here because you haven't made this the same okay um, now if you call me up and you tell me that it's not working and I discover it's this you will owe me a crate of beer be warned and I do like beer okay non-alcoholic beer but you'll owe me a crate of beer so I'm telling you now that if it doesn't work and you're using a, a bit.ly link or a cfx.team link because I've set one up for you um, and don't ask me to set up cfx.team links because I'm not doing them anymore because that's not duplicatable I only did it for a few people in my team um, if it's not working then it's because of this okay the other reason you want to keep it the same even if you are using a Calendly link is because if you've done advertising with your Calendly link you want it to be the same you want people to land on the same page okay I think I've spouted for long enough I think that's everything you need to know there's nothing else that's how it works so um, there you go set it up get yourself uh, positioned for success uh, and I'll speak to you next time thanks very much for watching and I hope this is useful to you thanks